three for team five, I'm hoping Paul, Joseph Barnett. First, we're going to talk about the business challenges. Um, HP is in the uh, HP and la um, laptop and PC industry, which is 36.8 billion industry. Um, our biggest challenge is the lack of product and consumer services and our competitors in the TV, tablet, and PC market. And um, we want to increase our market shares by 70% because currently we have a 27.3 market share and we, and we plan on doing that by market objectives, which is improve our IT operational efficiency and improve the talent and PC market innovation. Um, some of our strengths are lead, global PC, and shipments, um, brand recognition, and also we see our opportunities of growth in our tablet and PC market and growth in the smartphone market. And the weaknesses and threats, we're working on those, as not important as you can see. And um, right now our customers are millennial, which is ages 18 to 25, gender is male or female, income 15 to 30,000. Uh, family, no, not man, no children, small business, subway, and we did Buffalo Wild Wings. Subway revenue was 18.1 billion, employees 47,000, and Buffalo Wild Wings revenue 908 billion, and the total employees were 2,160,000. 2, and the last uh, customer uh, target market is government, which is the Department of Education at Richmond for specifically revenue 23 billion, 23 million, total employees 5,000. Uh, also, general services and admission, uh, total employees 12,000 and 21 billion. And um, psychographics for the millennials is music, entertainment, gaming, small businesses, email, HP software, and government citizen centric IT transformation. And the benefit profile uh, for a millennial, we have music stores, graphics, long battery life, small business workflow management, business technology. Also, government, we have organization design and federal relocation services. And the unique value proposition for millennials is HPU Technologies recommends products and services based on specific customer or fashion laptops, small businesses, low cost of productivity, and government product and services designed for a specific customer. And our offering right here for millennial, we have Drake Beats for HP, um, small business workstation, government education, and a monitor. Uh, it's different from, I see, you can see our prices is not too high, to just in the middle of the other competitors. And also for the market community strategy, based off what we're seeing of uh, our business challenges, we do we want uh, we plan on growing by the three efficient ways, which is advancing software products, improving management consulting services, and advancing our product designs. As you can see, the tablet right here, that's a tablet and a PC at the same time. And now we're going to do the financial portion. Hey, I'm going to talk about the financial portion. Um, we're going to start with the ratios with Turn on assets. Um, we are in the negative for all profit ratios. We're starting off with the negative 10.59, which means that our net income was um, negative 12 billion. And our total assets was 119 billion. Um, for our return on equity, we had the same net income of negative 12 mil. And then uh, for our equity, we have 30 million, 530. Um, for our liquidity ratios, we have a quick ratio of 0.72. Um, this means that our assets is 33 million and our liabilities was 46. Um, for our current ratio, it is 1.09. Uh, this interprets that, uh, go back, we have our current assets of 50 million. And our current liabilities was 46.6 million. Okay, this is our balance sheet. Um, we're starting off with the assets. As you can see, we had total asset, turn, total current assets of 50 million in 2012, 51, and then 54 in 2010. Um, formation is a little messed up, but um, but our total assets was 108, 129, and 124. And for our percentage, uh, as a whole, as a company, our assets took up 90.5% of our finance. And this is our liabilities. For our total liabilities, we have 80, 86, 2012, 90, and 2011, and 84 million, and 2009, or 10. Alright, so this is our break-even analysis. 
we have a total fixed cost of 85000 and for our variable cost is, which is in the total cost, a column. Um, something like messed that up. But um, we have four, five, and now you can see. Um, and for, you see our sales, and it varies from units to break even on each column. You know, we break even by selling with the unit price of 130, selling each unit for 130. That's how we're going to break even. <laughs> this is our forecast plan. For our cash receipts, we did about we did it quarterly, so no, we have four times in one year each quarter, you know. Um, for our cash receipts, we have I'm gonna just do one quarter, y'all can read the rest. Two nine two thousand and nine was two thousand and nine nine hundred and six um, for our cash receipts and for our um, cash disbursements, which is money getting put out. We had fifteen hundred, and the different difference between those which would be our net cash flow is 1400 and for the beginning we're going to add the our beginning balance with cash is our 1600 and then we're going to end out with um 3095 that's that's what we're going to end up that's our plan for next year 2013 14 13 that's better that concludes our presentation thank you